Group 2 action in the USL E-Cup Rocket League Edition. Teams from the USL Championship and USL League 1 meeting in a friendly bit of competition and, of course, all for charity. Mike Watts, Devin Kerr on hand. Devin, let's talk about the competition. It's going to be about a month of fun while there's no soccer on the field. In times of frustration, Mike, we've talked off camera about how to stay busy. How about this? 32 teams. And here's the fun part. Not only is it USL Championship and League One clubs, we get Eastern and Western Conference in terms of overall teams and the way they're going to shake it out. Eight groups, four groups of each, 32 teams total vying for one prize. And oh, by the way, my favorite, we're playing for charity. Top two teams from each group will advance to the knockout stage. Winning your best of three series gives you three points. And here are the teams in group two, Colorado Springs and South Georgia Tormenta of League One are in the other half of the group, while Austin and Charleston kick us off here in the opening match of the group. Devin, we've got a super fan in Andrew Green and a rookie, a new player out of SMU, Mauro Sichero for Charleston. I'm just hoping the Eastern Conference can step up a little bit here in the Charleston Battery. It's going to be Mauro 704 because the Western Conference reigns supreme in Group 1. Andrew Green hoping to make Marcelo Serrano proud, and these two boys are ready to get at it. Austin, Charleston, East versus West. Group 2 kicks off right after this. USL E Cup Rocket League Edition. Two USL Championship clubs being represented Austin Bold and Charleston Battery. Charleston in gold, Austin in blue. Underway. It's game one in a best of three in group two. With Devin Kerr, Mike Watts on hand. Andrew Green powering forward. Will we see a little bit of that uh, Austin? ingenuity come into play early chips once bounces in front of goal and Mauro Sichero just can't handle it one nothing to Austin inside 20 seconds rookie player making rookie mistakes where's Mike Anhauser when you need him that quality defense with Taylor Mueller on the back line definitely not stepping out early and Mike I'm telling you I'm nervous about the Eastern Conference they got to step up here they're a team and conference that are so good defensively but they are getting Pounded. Could they make it to Sichero up to the task this time around and dribbling forward? A couple of fakes there along the way, and finally Green gives it a go. Green charges on. He's using flips as much as boost Evan to find his way, but that 100 boost pad without ceding any territory, a major plus for Andrew Green. I've got motion sickness. It's a boost flip reset, boost flip reset, boost flip reset. This is why I don't play video games, Mike. He tried to flip it in. In the end, Sichero able to get it to go. Charleston on the board. We're level at one. There you go. Tomorrow, 704. That's the quality craftsmanship we've come to admire from the Eastern Conference boys over the years. Brocifer, look at the stare down. Come get it. Is his avatar a slice of pepperoni pizza? Yes, and it's actually We're gonna find ghost out. peppers, so it's extra spicy. Sichero with the save and then able to take it straight down the field in an aerial shot to put that in. Devin, finally a little competition here. Charleston, the Eastern Conference, finally getting on the board. The SMU boy making everybody proud. A little Texas, Texas action. 
he might be showing what he's been studying the last five years. <laughs> Video games? That's what he majored in? <laughs> Back Don't in tell the mom goal. and dad. <laughs> Green got an initial touch to that. Off the clearance. Chance for Sincero to get back. Well, Sichero's going to take a third goal here. Less than two minutes in. It's a three-goal run here for Charleston, and he took it right off the wall clear. Nice redirect, bottom corner. I like what I'm seeing. How about the celebration at the end? I think that's what I need more out of here, Mike. I need some quality celebrations out of these boys. Well, Sichero's got a wide-open goal, and he is running away with it now. He scored less than... 10 seconds after his previous goal. So we're looking at Matt Rafferty from Reno again. Well, he, he wasn't scored upon. That's the difference. Exactly. I'm saying scoring so quickly. Mike, you play video games? Yes. What's your Kevin game of choice? has a wife, so I'm not sure he can. Driven down by Green. Well, let's say I've got 2K in in the in the hopper right now, but I'm a I'm a wide ranging video game in myself. I go old school, Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Tekken, Look, Golden Eye, <laughs> Tekken. <laughs> I go Street Fighter. Are you okay? Sincero bringing it into the corner. Sincero was drafted by Dallas in the MLS Super Draft, 29th overall pick out of SMU, and then came to Charleston midway through preseason. Green takes that stick of dynamite. Sichero from the edge of the area, cashes in to make it 5-1 to Charleston. It's my salsa dance. Look at the finish. I like it. Sichero, one of the boys that was Doing work with Garrett McLaughlin at SMU. They lost to Virginia, of course, lost in the final NCAA College Cup. And I still like what you said. You may be seeing exactly what he's been practicing over the past couple of years. So you saying he didn't study at all? Are you are you throwing darts here? I'm saying this was at minimum a minor. Okay. <laughs> the major was FIFA. <laughs> Cheryl. From half field, he'll follow up the shot. Doesn't need to double tap that. Austin, after a 1-0 lead, have imploded down 6-1 with 101 ticks to go. A little showboat as it makes its way in. 6-1. I got to be honest. If I had to bet, I probably would have bet on the battery, but I would not have bet six goals. I don't think they've scored six goals in the history of their club. a wee bit high from Green off the kickoff. It was totally conceded by Sichero. And Devin, while goal difference may come into play later in the group stage, right now you want to make sure you don't give any lifeline to Austin, and he won't. Extra point is good. No boost necessary. Love the pizza. I'm hungry. You want some pizza? I'll have it delivered. Let's do it. They'll both go after this and go flying into one another. Blue of stalemate there. Sichero works it off the wall, using the oh. backboard to his benefit. Wash, rinse, repeat. He's played indoor a few times. He knows about the little bank shot. Green trying to flip his way back into position. You can tell Green has a good use of speed. The rest of it remains to be seen. This misses wide right of the post. That 
blocked initially and finds its way off the right-hand side of the post. Green able to keep it out for Austin. Final 30 seconds here of this first game, Devin, but Charleston's certainly going to be ahead going into game two of this best of three. He'll regen now. And he scores. Yeah, that's adding insult to injury now, the way Moro 704 is playing. I joked early on that he looked like a rookie, came right out. Austin Bold put one back in, but nine unanswered for Charleston Battery. Yeah, this game's over. I'll call it with 15 seconds left. I know a winner when I see it. Maro Sichero carries that into the goal, too. At this point, he's just rubbing it in. He's into double figures. We saw 14 from Reno in their first match. 10 from the battery here. Young Josh Atencio knocking off Tove City. Again, it's all for charity, but that's love. E-L-E. -E. Everybody love everybody. Great start for Charleston as Green able to deny it late. And the Charleston Battery take a 1-0 lead in this best of three. Mauro Sichero coming away with a dominant performance. We have game two coming up. Can Austin make their comeback? Group two in the U.S. Alley Cup featuring Charleston and Austin. And the battery dominating from the outset. Mike Watts, Devin Kerr back with you. Devin, you get destroyed 10 0, 10 1, 10 0 in the final four minutes and 42 seconds. If you're Austin, how do you respond? You're out to lunch, go order lunch. Uh, come back early, find a way to get a goal. But look, he did that last game. Andrew Green showed us inside 20 seconds that he was going to be able to get an early go but Morrow 704 good for you buddy just stick it to him look at this he does it boost. in 20 seconds golden doesn't even need the boost actually catches one at the end but bubbles already away in the end ball don't lie all sides coming from the center in that late leap by Sichero Sichero trying to get back into position. Green taking his time. Post well defended. Doesn't matter. Rosenberg goes right by him. Austin levels it up. That's better. The goalkeeper. What are you doing, man? It's gotta the be Rocket better League here. version of a of a whip around goal. Sichero carries this forward, trying to use the backboard. Fires it off the wall a second time. Fourth time the charm. Can't give him this many chances. Sad day. Sad, sad day. Good response. Give it right back to Moro 704. Mike Watts mentioned earlier. He thinks it's a minor, the way this is playing out. This could have been a major, Mike. I'm sorry. FIFA may have to take a backseat on this one. I'm beginning to wonder if he didn't get a bachelor's degree, if he got something more. <laughs> Spent six years at SMU video gaming. <laughs> NCAA gave him extra eligibility. Express. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl poked it on for a goal and now moves back defensively. Off the rotation, he's a bit late. And Green, unable to get it to go the first time. This time flips it in. And now we've got a game. 
Live and learn. He's doing it. At least there's been a response for every single one. This is much better than the first matchup. The drubbing that was 10-1, but Andrew Green not willing to go without a fight. You know Serrano's sitting with him right now, right? He's sitting right next to him. No, no. Telling him exactly how he wants to play. <laughs> Moving all the pieces all over the board. Marcel Serrano uses 376,000 players in one season. And they're one of the few teams that was able to get quality results on a regular basis. Whoa. Look at this goal. Comes off the boost pad, fires it off the underside of the crossbar. Austin ahead 3-2. You may be wondering how these players were selected. Whoa, good save. Rising up to the occasion by Sichero. Sichero going the distance levels the score. Bad deflection, Mike. Major Green had him. Honestly, move the other way. A little bounce off the boards. He thought it was going to come the other direction, and tomorrow 704 gets back into it. Watch out. It is bouncing wide. Sincero, second time, no. Green comes in. Not able to get the touch he needed. Follows and gets the clearance. Green can't quite get there. So Sincero was just the most enthusiastic player about this endeavor. Andrew Green is the brother-in-law of one of the assistant coaches and a super fan for Austin. That's why he's playing in this tournament representing the club. Sichero denied on the undercarriage of Green. He's able to get there a second time. Good stalking challenge by Sichero. Get him. There you go. I gotta be honest. Cuts off. We gotta we gotta love to live to the day where we can see cars actually do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta have fun. I'm here for that. I'm here for that content. Demolition Derby, John Hackworth in an old school El Camino doing front flips on a pitch. <laughs> Sichero able to get that to go. He was able to use the post to his benefit and just a little late from Green on the challenge. He gets caught ball watching and doesn't defend the goal. Quick little redirect and just like that out in front again, Mike. Minute 42 left. After the first match, I thought he was running away with it, but it's been better contested second go around. 100 ticks and counting left for Charleston to seal it. Huge insurance goal with 93 seconds left on the clock. It looks like three points are in the bag. 93 on the clock, only nine seconds though since the last goal, and that's gotta be a bit problematic. Austin Bull trying to get back into this, but Andrew Green out in front, recovered twice. I don't see it happening, buddy. And that should be that. Case Off the point. deflection on the opening kickoff. This is all placement. Interesting how much the backboards come into play. I got to get a video game system. I'm going with PS4, though. That's my move. Not a PC gamer? No, you know what it is? Is I got to give my wife a reason to suspect that I'm actually doing something different. I spent enough time in the back room watching games. If I now move to another room and I'm doing something different, she's not going to question. So you and I can have late night chats on headset and go against each other in Rocket League and she'll never know the difference. She'll think I'm working. We already do that. Yeah. <laughs> Green spiraling up toward it. Working off the wall on the ride is Sichero. He's able to get the deflection to keep it in front, and Good that time. should do it for Charleston. 7-3 here in game number two after a 10-1 win in game one. They don't see it happening. He scored four in just under a minute, 58 seconds. So it's not out for 
Austin Bold, but Andrew Green. Come on, Brocifer. Bring the heat. He goes right off the kickoff, and it's volley to side. Isachero for Charleston. Green back into his own half. In group two, South Georgia Tormenta keeping a close eye on this. Colorado Springs as well, but Charleston have crowned themselves as the early favorite in group two. Nice finish, lovely finish. And the battery, Mike Anhauser. I tell you what, he's got to be happy. He's put pedigree into all of these lads. Even the rookies, hasn't even got into a game yet. Already saying, coach, I'm ready to go. Well, if he got a good touch to that, we're talking spectacular goal. Instead, Sichero won't be able to add anything more. Devin points to Charleston, three to be exact. 19 to four in two games. I think that's the thing we got to be most excited about. Shout out to Moro 704. Shout out to that pepperoni pizza. Give me some. We've got highlights from these two games and wrap it up after this USL E Cup. Take a look at our full-time highlights from this one. Charleston Battery, Mauro Sichero making an impressive debut for Charleston Battery. Austin Bolds, Andrew Green, just struggling to keep up, Dev. I gotta be honest, Mike. I wasn't exactly sure what we were gonna get out of Sichero. A, a rookie coming in, 29th overall pick by FC Dallas. Had an opportunity to, to rip things up at SMU. On his side, Garrett McLaughlin and, you know, and Hauser. Has he gotten his hands on him yet? What was this strategy going to look like? Boy, he rocked him in the first one. 10 1. Second one was a bit closer. You saw Austin Bold, Andrew Green fight back in, got it even, actually went up, and he was sitting at 3 2. But that would be it. Seven unanswered goals for Mauro Sichero. He would win 9 3. He'll move on in two straight. And a 10 0 run in game one as well. 10 1 winner there. And a proud slice of pepperoni pizza, the avatar there for Sichero. So in the end, it is a pretty clear dominant run there for the battery over Austin Bold. For our producer, Sharni Yerke, and Devin Kerr alongside Mike Watts saying, thanks for watching this Group 2 lid lifter as it is Charleston atop the group over Austin. Thanks for watching USLE Cup.